We're just waiting for our uh, tour bus to arrive and to take us to the Sahara Desert for a couple of days, which is basically two, two nights. So we got inside this town. It was uh, built in the 11th century. There are five fam families who still live here. They don't have electricity, so everybody else moved out to the other side of town. So they have solar panels. They shoot a lot of movies and TV shows. Uh -huh. They have to go to the town, to the new town, to get water every three or four days. <laughs> with the sugar, the brown saffron, and the, the blue is indigo. But all the pictures they make with the same degree. Those towers. But I think those carvings are not even windows or anything like that. They're just really just the like part of the design. Right? I guess, I guess these are little windows. But yeah, and it's all like clay. It looks like from here, it looks like a, a sand castle. We went to lunch and Andy got some kafta. Tahini, tajin, tajin, tajin. Yeah, kafta is beef. So look at this one, boiling stuff. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh, is it an egg? Oh, that is the egg. Oh, and this is like the minced meat on the side here. Uh -huh, and you probably and eat it with this, uh, this bread. I had some soup, which is pretty good actually. We are on the bus going to some kind of a valley. But look at this, how pretty. I know the window is very dirty, but it's really pretty because you can ha you have the palm trees in the middle and then you have all of these rocky mountains and the desert around, which is so cool. Andy cannot miss the. Uh, there's water. The, the, there's there's water. You gotta skip them. <laughs> this is the biggest and the highest in Morocco. We are here in 1,400 meter high. Here where we are, yeah. And the Tinerer town where you comes this morning, the, the the town where your hotel. This is the highest town between High Atlas and Anti Atlas, yeah. Andy stepped in a fig and he's taking it. With him. Ew, maybe there was more than a fig on that foot. <laughs> Looked like the uh, fertilization that they use organic here. Well, it's for luck, you know, if you step in, I told you. If you step in, well, well, in, in fertilization, <laughs> organic fertilization. It's too, too hard. Too violent. Too violent. Tastes like oh. almond. Just exactly like almond. <laughs> Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a guide with you, it would be really easy to get lost the way these walls are made. They are a mix of the hay and also the 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 mud. I don't know, not maybe not the mud, but whatever they use from the mountains. That they make these balls like 50, 60 centimeters uh, thick. Also on the first floor, the animals live probably like goats and sheep and cats. <laughs> and then the second floor, third floor, the families live. Sheep wool, camel wool, we have carpet also mixed wool and silk 
have also biovitamins, we have also lambs whole, different material, different pickle. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are walking in this, uh, uh, I am going to say, gorge uh, valley. And look at this, how much fun these guys are having. I would love to join them right about now. And this is like a little picnic area, looks like, next to the water. It is Sunday today, so people are just hanging out. Oh, look at those oranges. But anyways, look at people are just hanging out. Sunday afternoon jam session. Making friends with uh, the sheep. So we got to the finally to the desert where we are gonna yeah where we're gonna get on these camels. Stay for an hour. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna stay there for the night. So we're just walking in the Sahara Desert. I actually took off this uh, thing from my face because it's not that windy and it was so tight that it was hitting like it was like really tight on my nose. So I'm just gonna go without it. I think it'll be perfectly fine. So this is uh, where we're staying for the night, one of these little fancy tents. Yeah, they look very nice. I love these lamps. And we're going to have a nice little dinner here, a yeah. little campfire. experienced any daylight um, at all during yeah. our time in this camp because we were out there for the sunrise and now we're out there for the sunset or the, the other way, way around. <laughs> Sorry we got no sleep either last night but it was fun. Uh, the tents that we stayed in looked nice but they had no air blowing through and they were 90 degrees so it was kind of rough. You can see me but a.m. in the morning. We were supposed to see some sunrise action here. Uh, I wanted to say carnival. What is it? Caravan. Carnival. <laughs> carnival was yesterday. <laughs> Camels today are not as comfortable as they were yesterday because of the, I think, of the, for me at least, because of the fabric that I'm sitting on. It's like wool, so it's not very comfortable when I'm wearing shorts. I had to become a professional turban <laughs> tire. Turn it on. <laughs> it was a little better before. That's Andy's oh, fan. 
the Denji friends. We're pals. <laughs> And this is mine. Oh, lonely. The weather is not amazing, and that's why we can't really see the sun dive because it's actually on that side. And he's over there trying to take a picture. There's that sun. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This concludes our trip to uh, the desert. Thanks, guys, for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.